For the hardcore web nerds like myself, there's nothing more satisfying than being able to set up a server on your computer and host your own web pages. That is, of course, unless you can also host your own email service from your computer as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up and host your own webmail service. To do this project, we're going to need three programs, a web server so that we can access our computer from the web, an email server to create a structured email database, and a webmail interface so that we can log on to our email account through a web page. For the web server, we're going to be using WAMP Server, which is the most popular Windows Server software. If you need a more detailed look into how to set up a WAMP Server, feel free to watch my previous tutorial on it, which you can find here. Once you have it downloaded, run through the installation process and make sure to grant the program access through your firewall. You should now see a new icon in your taskbar. Click on it and select Put Online. Then click on it again and select Start All Services. This should put your server up and running. To test it, open up a web browser and type in your computer's IP address and you should see a page like this. If you don't know your computer's IP address or if you are connected through a router, you should watch my previous tutorial on port forwarding before continuing. Next, we need to download the email server. Go ahead and install it with the defaults and create a password for it. When it's through, launch it and connect to your local host database. Then enter in the password that you just created. Before continuing, open up your Windows, System32, Drivers, ETC folder and right click on the hosts file and select to open it up with Notepad. Beside where it says localhost, hit the tab key and type in a one word domain name and add .local to the end of it. Then save and close it. Now go back to the HTML server, click add domain and type in the domain name that you just added to the hosts file and click save. Then in the left hand menu select the accounts folder and click on the add button. Now just create a new email address and password then set the size that you want the mailbox to be and click save. You can repeat this process for as many accounts as you want to create and then exit out of the HTML server when you're through. The last program that we need to make this work is called Squirrel Mail, which you can find here. You want to download it and extract it to your C drive to a folder called Squirrel Mail. Now click on the Apache server icon again and select Apache, alias directories, add an alias, and you should see a command window pop up. Here you want to type in mail and hit enter, and then type in the name of the directory that we just created for Squirrel Mail and hit enter again. Then go into your squirrel mail folder and open up the config folder and rename the config underscore default dot php file to config dot php. Then open it up using a text editor and change these values to match your server. You want the domain to equal your HML server's name. You want the SMTP server address to also equal your HML server's name. And you want your IMAP server address to also equal your HML server's name. You want IMAP underscore server underscore type to equal HML server. You want data underscore DIR to equal C colon forward slash squirrel mail forward slash data forward slash. And then you want the attachment underscore DIR to equal C colon forward slash squirrel mail forward slash attach forward slash. Now save it, open up a web browser, and go to localhost forward slash mail forward slash index.php, and you should see a logon screen for your new webmail server. You can log in using any of the usernames and passwords that you created. If you want to access this from other computers, just replace localhost with your computer's public IP address. Again, if you need help finding that or setting up port forwarding through your router, be sure to check out this video for helping to set that up. Be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Facebook and Twitter. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.